On that zebra crossing outside the famous Abbey Road Studios this morning, music royalty and actual royalty, well, for the time being at least. Prince Harry joins John Bon Jovi to recreate the image made famous by the Beatles more than 50 years ago. And this is the famous room, this is the Beatles. In Studio Two, where the Beatles recorded 11 of their albums, Bon Jovi played the single he wrote for military veterans, which he is re-recording for this year's Invictus Games, the tournament founded by Prince Harry. Bon Jovi wrote the track Unbroken for former members of America's military living with post-traumatic stress disorder. The members of this choir are British veterans, but they know in the US a staggering 20 veterans take their own lives each day. Yeah, I'll do it all again. Unbroken will now be released as a charity single ahead of the Invictus Games in May. That was awesome. You didn't even need him. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> this guy spoke to us outside. I put it in the mail and I sent it to Harry. I said, we should do this for the troops because I'd like to give something back to the UK who have given me so much for nearly 40 years. Well, what do you make of his departure? I mean, it's pretty sad. How can I here. comment? You know, I mean, I, I don't know what it's like to walk in his shoes, but I, I, as an American, really admire the family and what his grandmother, grandfather, father, brother, he have done. I, I really feel uh, you know, the nation should still embrace them. They're wonderful. And tell me about the name that you've given Prince Harry. The artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> that was actually funny for a change. And the artist formerly known as Prince gave this little tease on his Instagram page. One, two, three. Before pausing the video. Did Harry contribute his own vocal cords? We will find out when the single is released in March. Chris Ship News at 10 at the Abbey Road Studios.